Okay, so with this stratified sampling one, right, we need to first of all work out the total, okay, that we've got here, and they tell us that, don't they? 690, okay, in check by adding these up, but that's how many we've got in total. And then what we need to do then is get the fraction for each particular school, okay? So Kurta, for instance, the fraction is 307 out of 690 pupils, and we need to then multiply that then by the stratified sampling of amount of pupils that he wants, so 80, okay? So we'll work that out, okay, on the calculator, 307 divided by 690, okay, so use the fraction button, times 80, and we get, um, CST, 35.59, okay, something like that. Now, it's important, don't just automatically think that's going to be 36, okay? Because we are talking about pupils, so you can't have 35.59 pupils, all right? But... Um, you know, we can't automatically think that we're going to round up, okay? It really does depend here on how stratified sampling works out. So we'll see how this works now. So let's get the fraction for come come van high, right? So that'll be 239 out of 690 times that then by the stratified sampling amount, 80 again. So what I'm going to do is see if I can go back on my calculator here um, and change that number up here. Oh, right. Um, what was it? 239. And we get 27.71, right? So we work out what to round that to in a minute. You'd automatically think 28, okay? So um, let's do the next one. 144 over 690, okay? That's the fraction for Henkloid times 80. So we go back on this. And we get 16.69, yeah, something like that, right? So um, if we were to round these, let's round them the pencil first. Um, you'd round that up, wouldn't you, 36? Uh, you'd round that up, wouldn't you, 28? And you'd round that up, wouldn't you, 17? So all of these have been rounded up because the the decimals here take us uh, closer, take the number to, to uh, take us closer to the next number up. Um, so it's about five, isn't it, essentially, up to the decimal point. So but if I add these together, does that give me 80? You've got to check, right? Because what we don't want is a different total to 80. So I add them up here. And you can see when I add them up, look, I get 81. Okay, so that's no good. Can't have 81, right? Because he wants to sample 80. So what we've got to do now is we've got to decide which one we're going to reduce. Okay, which one are we going to reduce by one? Because if we reduce one of them by one, then we get to 80, won't we? And what we need to do is, is just look which one is closest to being rounded down, so to speak. And if you think here, we've got, if you see, we've got 35.59, right? But then the ones here, 0 0.71, 0 0.69. So these are closer. These two here are closer to the next number up, aren't they? Even though you automatically think, let's round this up. Um, when it comes to it, these ones deserve to be rounded up more than the bottom one because... They're close to the next number. So we keep this as 28. We keep that as 17. But this one, we round back to 35. And then adding them up, you get to 80. Okay, so it's important to check for that there. So 35, 28, and 17.